Hi everyone, I'm Ninju Bijali from Informatica and today I'm going to explain the steps to configure Power Exchange for Lotus Nodes with Power Center. Agenda of this video What is Lotus Nodes, Power Exchange for Lotus Nodes Overview, Prerequisites, Power Exchange for Lotus Nodes Client Components, Power Exchange for Lotus Nodes Server Components and a quick demo to register the plugin from Admin Console. Before going to the Power Exchange part, let's have a look, quick look at what is IBM Lotus Nodes. IBM Nodes formerly known as Lotus Nodes and IBM Domino formerly known as Lotus Domino are the client and server components of a client server software platform from IBM. IBM Nodes provide business collaboration functionality including emails, calendars, to-do lists, contact management, team rooms, discussion forums, file sharing, microblogging, instant messaging, blogs, and user directories. Lotus Nodes is a database system. In fact, most Nodes environments consist of a collection of databases that might interact with each other at some level. Lotus Nodes, however, is not a relational database system. A Nodes database is a collection of unstructured data combined with various design elements that allow you to access and manipulate the data. Having an understanding of Lotus Nodes, now let's go to Power Exchange for Lotus Nodes. Power Exchange for Lotus Nodes provides bidirectional data connectivity with Lotus Nodes. That is, we can read data and write data to Lotus Nodes using Power Exchange for Lotus Nodes. Lotus Node sources in Power Center represent forms, views, and independent documents in the Lotus Node system. However, Lotus Node's targets in Power Center represent only forms in the Lotus Node system. That is, we cannot write to views or documents using Power Exchange for Lotus Nodes. Let's have a quick look at what needs to be done on the Power Center's client and server machines before installing or configuring Power Exchange for Lotus Nodes. On the Power Center client machine, that is on the Windows box, we need to have Lotus Nodes client as well as the C++ API toolkit. Download and install Lotus Nodes 6.5.x or later client versions on the machine where PowerCenter client is installed. Also, we need to download and install the Lotus C++ API 3.0 toolkit from IBM. After completing the above installations, make sure that the path environment variable on the Windows machine has both the installation folders included. For example, set path to C program files IBM Lotus Nodes which corresponds to the Lotus Nodes client installation folder and C Node CPP lib MSWin32 which corresponds to the API toolkit installation directory. To complete the installation on PowerCenter client machine, install the Power Exchange for Lotus Nodes client component to access Lotus Nodes from PowerCenter designer. Coming to the communication from PowerCenter server machine, Power Exchange for Lotus Nodes uses Java based APIs. As a first step, we need to copy the ncso.jar file from the Domino server machine to the PowerCenter server box. Once this is done, we can install the repository and integration service components of Power Exchange for Lotus Nodes to access Lotus Nodes from the PowerCenter server machine during session runtime. To have a clear understanding, we will have a look at the files corresponding to Power Exchange for Lotus Nodes on the Power Center client and server machines. As you can see, Power Exchange for Lotus Nodes client component installation will add files pmlnclient.dll and pmlnclientres409.dll to the Info Home Clients Power Center Client Client Bin folder. Also, you would see a Windows registry entry named PC underscore Lotus Notes corresponding to Power Exchange for Lotus Notes. Similarly, 
Power Exchange for Lotus Node Server Component will add pmln plugin.jar file to infa home server bin javalib folder. As part of configuring Power Exchange for Lotus Nodes, we have already copied ncso.jar file from Domino server to the same location. Repository component installation will add pmlotus.xml file to the infa home server bin plugin folder. Using the same pmlotus.xml file, we can register the Power Exchange for Lotus Nodes plugin with the repository service either using pmrep register plugin command or from the admin console. As we reach the final step of configuring Power Exchange for Lotus Nodes, I will show you a quick demo on how to register the plugin from admin console. Log in to the admin console and select the repository service. For registering any plugins with the repository service, the service should be running in exclusive mode. Go to the plugins tab and select the option register plugin. Register plugin wizard will show you an option to browse for the plugin XML file. Select the PM Lotus.xml file that was, that was added to the server bin plugin folder during the installation. Register plugin window will also give you an option to update the existing plugin registration. This option needs to be selected if you have already registered any previous versions of Power Exchange for Lotus Notes with the repository service. For registering the plugin, you should also provide the repository username and password. And click OK. Once the plugin registration completes successfully, you will see an entry for Power Exchange for Lotus Nodes under the Plugins tab. Now you are all set to use Lotus Nodes with Power Center. You can send or post your queries and feedback at supportvideos at informatica.com. Also, you can follow us on Twitter. Thank you.